in Niger, the BBC said there are concerns Niger could move away from its Western allies and closer to Russia, like its neighbors Burkina Faso and Mali, who've both pivoted to Moscow since recent military coups of their own. No, you, you mean that they're sick of France occupying them and they want their country back. There, I fix it for you. See, Niger is a country famous for its uranium. When we talk about neo-colonialism, this is one of the best examples. The French are heavily dependent on nuclear energy, and one-third of French homes are powered by uranium that comes from Niger, the Eiffel Tower even. Meanwhile, in Niger, 80% of the population do not even have electricity. France needs Niger's uranium so much, and yet Niger is the second poorest country in the world. How is this possible? Because the French are robbing them blind, taking and giving pennies. French neo-colonialism. So do not be surprised when people in Niger are chanting à bas la France, down with France, and flying Russian flags. African countries are sick of being robbed. They are being independent. They are choosing to pivot away from Western colonizers because they see the Russians and the Chinese do things by the book. They are straightforward with you. Whereas we in Britain, in France, in Europe, we have a history of lying, cheating, and stealing. That is our legacy in Africa. And yet the BBC and CNN, <laughs> they want you to think that Russia and China are debt-trapping Africa, like as if we didn't. They speak about African leaders as if they are children, as if they are stupid, like they don't understand what's good for them. Oh, they need the white man. They need Western troops and Western corporations to come and save them. Ha ha ha. Really? Yeah, I've seen this film before. People are so desperate to run away from the wars, from the plundering that we have inflicted on Arabia, on Africa. They are risking their lives. They risk perishing in the Mediterranean Sea, in the English Channel. But apparently they're the invaders. <laughs> You see in Mali, you see Central African Republic, Sudan, and others that are, they're soliciting Wagner services because France and the U.S. can't get the job done. France and the U.S. come put their military bases in Niger and Burkina Faso and Mali, and they say, we're here to save you from ISIS. Who created ISIS? Who created Al-Qaeda and unleashed them on the Middle East and on the Sahel? CIA and NATO. There was no ISIS before we destroyed Iraq, before we destroyed Syria, before we destroyed Libya. That wasn't a thing. This is why people are flying Russian flags when they have a coup in Niger. They are rejecting a president who is pro-French and pro-American. They are rejecting neo-colonial shackles and the West. And then, of course, they're going to go look elsewhere. They will look towards Russia and China, towards the competitors who treat them as equals. It's not that difficult to understand.